ouch ouch good morning y'all welcome to monday Mo welcome to monday um huh, it's another week it's another what is this this is almost like a virtual vlogging habit tracker that's what this is right y'all tracking my habits y'all tracking it but that's okay that's okay um i want to give a thanks to all of you who tell me in the comments how much you enjoy these videos or how these videos help you because honestly if it weren't for y'all we wouldn't even be doing these videos anymore simply because i'd be feeling like it's it gets so monotonous i mean how many drive-throughs can y'all watch me go through for real <laughs> but like i said hopefully this can help people put this can help put you in the presence of a thing right rather than talk about a thing because i feel like we change our lives when we actually put ourselves in the presence of a certain lifestyle or a certain way of thinking so hopefully my good thoughts are rubbing off on y'all and hopefully all the other thoughts like all of my drive through spin throughs y'all leave behind but it's okay um i'm gonna talk to y'all some more when we get to the car because this week you know we live this life week by week i'll be looking at the week i'll be looking at my calendar and i'll be like uh what am i gonna do but in the meantime look y'all i came down the steps look y'all this 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 table still look like this and i still didn't find my taxes nor did i do my e-visa oh well sue me but i edited videos i came down the steps and this is what i noticed so really is this how jay's feeling is this how he's feeling? Was he on this treadmill this morning? Look, it looks like it's plugged in. I see evidence of a plugged in treadmill. Really? And I'm going to tell y'all because Jay told me, I'm going to call him and see what time he left. He told me that he has a new routine. His new routine is he gets up at three in the morning. And I don't know if he threw him because he wanted to work out. But he said because he wants to get out on them streets. And he wants to hit a certain dollar amount a day. And then he said he can take off like the weekends, like Saturday and Sunday. And then that way me and him can do things. Um, something like that. So I wonder what time he got out today. Or did getting on a treadmill. How was that? I don't know. Um, but in the meantime, it's like 7 a.m. So we're going to get ready to go. I'm going to make some juice. I'm doing a detox. Not I'm actually... I'm not doing a detox. Let me take that back for those of you who are going to get froggy by what y'all going to see next. I'm not doing a detox. But what am I doing is supplementing. I'm drinking lemon juice all day. And for those of y'all who don't know, this is water, lemon juice, maple syrup, and some cayenne pepper. So I'm drinking that all day, but I'm not not eating. So I am going to eat breakfast. Then all throughout the day when I'm at work, this is what I'm drinking. Because I find that when I'm at work, I snack. I snack. So I'm telling myself, hey, you feel like you want to get up and go get a snack? Drink your juice. Drink your juice. So that's what's happening. So I'm not trying to, um, I'm not doing this to lose weight. I'm not even doing this to do a full detox. I'm doing this to do a partial detox. A partial detox. I would say that. Because that lemon juice is really beneficial for you. It's really good for your body. It's really good for or, um, moving through your cells and flushing out some things so that's what I'm doing but we are still eating y'all we are still eating um, and then I'm gonna figure out my next step a little later because honestly when I do go to Kenya I do want to be lighter pound wise I want to be lighter because I want to feel comfortable and I want to be able to be active so that's what that is. But let's talk in the car, right? All right, all right. Y'all already know what I was setting y'all up for. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hold on. Oops, wrong window. Hello. May I have two breakfast tacos? And this is Jay's fault. All things are Jay's fault. Y'all, when he bought me this taco, um, when he came back from the airport, oh my God, it's so good. All right, y'all. So we are back. We are back. We got our breakfast and um y'all this week this week this week y'all my mom's birthday is coming up it's may 4th i need to call my sisters and see what they done figured out so i can jump in on their figuring out of the figuring out so i need to still finalize my may budget it's may 1st i need to finalize the budget because i need to see 
I don't think I put any money in for the birthdays. It's my mother's birthday this month. It's my grandma's birthday this month. It's Mother's Day this month. Not that that has anything to do with anything. That means somebody should be doing something for me, right? But at the same time, I also have a tenant moving in this month. I need to go to Bed Bath & Beyond. I learned from watching the Sherry show that they're going out of business. I didn't even know because y'all know I don't be out in them streets shopping like that. So how would I know? But the thing about it is I have a $40 gift card. So I want to go and use that. And I heard from the Sherry show that they're no longer taking their coupons. You know how they have like the 20% off or $10 off or $5. I heard that they're no longer taking those. But I'm going to bring it mine just in case they are. And we need to go there because there are so many things I need. Um, like I said, I painted my bathroom, so I want to change up the color, the color scheme in that bathroom. So I need new things, new toothbrush holders, new, you know, counter things, new trash can, new shower thing, you know, the little shower caddy, new rugs. I need all of the things. And then, um, and I also need things for the bedroom. I need a, a bed spread because y'all know I done burnt up the last one we had. Um, so the one we're using right now is for a queen bed, but we have a king. So there's things that I need, but I only got $40. So let's not act like we going in there and going all the way she can. Because honestly, Bed Bath & Beyond is expensive. It's overpriced. That's why they have those steep discount coupons like they do because they know they overpriced. Um, so that's that. The other thing I need to do is with Kenya, Jay told me I need to find out about our second flight. So me and Jay bought our own flights going to Kenya using our points, using points, right? Credit card points. The flights for both of us came to about $4,000. We used about $2,000 worth of points. So that just left us having to pay $2,000. So about a thousand, a little over a thousand a piece. So, so dope. I love points for that because again, I tell y'all, I use my credit card only on things I'm going to buy anyway. I do not ever, 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 ever go out looking for things just to charge it so I can get points. No, we only use it on what we're buying and what we're doing anyway. I use it to pay my bills, not my mortgage. I wish there was a way to use it to pay my mortgage, but there isn't. And I don't ever use it to pay things that will say, if you use a credit card, you have to pay 3% because trust me, you're not going to get 3% back worth in points. So that's just you spending money to use a credit card. That's not smart. So we're smart about it. So we do that. So anyways, like I said, we had $2,000 worth of points and I still have a good two to $3,000 worth of points on another credit card that I'm going to use for my other trips this year. Not Jay's trips. These are my cards. And I'm saying that for you, Jay, not me. Or not y'all. This is for Jay. Now share my points for him. My, my, my. Okay. That's that. Now that I got that off my chest. Um, well, anyways, because we did that. When we're in Kenya, there's another flight that we'll be taking within Kenya from one part of Kenya to another part of Kenya. He wants me to double check that we are included on that flight <laughs> or he wants me to double check that when i said we're buying our own flights like they didn't take it to me we're buying all of our own flights so i gotta check on that piece so i'm gonna shoot out an email um i also want to follow up with the timeshare and i'm saying this out loud because sometimes y'all when i re when i edit this stuff back it reminds me of what i said and then i'm like oh yeah that's right so i'm saying it out loud i want to follow up with the, with the person who bought my timeshare make sure everything is complete all of the paperwork went in to the county to the city to the whatever and all of that is done i did get the money for it so the other thing that i need to do y'all already know i need to find them taxes and then the other thing that i need to do is do our e visas they're due by the fifth of this month the fifth of may so we're definitely going to get that done because i'm sure jay is just going to keep bothering me i also need to Check out my easy pass. I noticed that I had 225 charges come in back to back, and that's not typical of my easy pass behavior. So I need to check on that because I'm not even sure if toll roads, if the prices of the toll roads went up. And I'm just not sure. So I want to check on my transponder. So I'm bringing that in with me to work so I can go online, check on it, and see what them transactions have been doing or if there's a glitch in the matrix. I'm pretty sure there's not a glitch. I'm pretty sure 
it's something that makes sense so but i got that down because again guys don't take their word for it when you see charges question everything question it it doesn't hurt the question and at the very least at least you're educated on what it is because how many times do i go through a tow road but i don't look to see how much the tow costs because i'm so used to doing it in this area i remember when it was like a dollar 25 and then i think the other one was two dollars do they go up i don't know i don't know we always think of tow rolls as a, a buck or so a buck or so but is that true because that can also inform you that saying that hey you may just need to go ahead and take the regular roads yeah it's gonna take you a little longer to get to a place but it's okay it's okay pad that in your timing because this stuff be getting ridiculous I remember when Virginia Beach had a toll road. Y'all remember that? For y'all in the seven cities. Y'all remember um, when they used to have a toll road going down to the beach? And at some point, that toll road disappeared. Why? Because the original um, reason for toll roads was to help pay for the road. To help pay for the infrastructure when they put it in. And there was a plan that was going to take X amount of years to actually get gain or earn or make the money to do that and then once they did that they disappeared the ro the tolls that don't seem to be a thing anymore now it seems to be toll rolls are a way for the city to get revenue period forever and ever amen the other thing that we need to do is pay for kenya the kenya trip is pay is due in full um the payment i think we still owe about two thousand dollars a piece on that so i need to make that payment and that's one of those things that I don't think I can use my credit card for because they charge, um, it's like a 3% thing to use your credit card, but you can use, you can just pay with, you know, your, from your regular bank account or whatever. So we'll see how that goes. And that's it. That's what I have on my list for this week. And we just got to really start getting them rooms ready because again, the tenants are going to stop moving in. I didn't even, we didn't even wash the carpets in the bedroom bedrooms. We did all of the other rooms. Okay, we need to get our lives together. All right, y'all. Good morning, guys. Good morning, people. Happy Tuesday. Yes, it's Tuesday. T-Mobile Tuesday. Um, so we did T-Mobile. I think there was a Whopper thing, but y'all know Burger King, me and Burger King don't like each other because they make you do it on the app, and it's just annoying to me. Anyways, who cares? Um, I'm on my way to work. 7 a.m. I'm rolling up my eyes at that because this is the thing. Jay has this new routine he's trying to establish, right? Get up early. Well, go to bed early. Get up early and hit them roads. Get out and start doing Uber. I realized for him to get out of the bed, I have to get out of the bed. How do I realize this? Because there'll be times where his alarm will go off, go off, go off. Because he sets it like every 15 minutes starting at 3 a.m. or something ridiculous. But he never gets up. He just keeps snoozing it or something and so normally i'll get up i'll eventually just get up suddenly he up so i'll be like up making the bathroom for myself you know putting my stuff in the bathroom for my day getting ready to do my shower things like that i go out to go get something i come back his butt is in the bathroom and we had a whole conversation a whole situation about this i don't know if i told y'all already because i come back and i'm like okay i'm about to get in the bathroom now he's like whoa what you gonna do what you doing that i can't be in here for <sighs> so i learned when i get up he gets up so therefore this morning i heard his alarm go off notice he didn't get up so i kind of was nudging him he still wasn't getting up so I said, you know what you got to do, girl. You got to get up. Because Jay don't want to be, he want to be nosy. He don't want you to be up living your best life by yourself. <laughs> He's going to want to join in on the action. So I got up. And this was like about four something this morning. So I got up. And yep, just like that, he got up. And I um, didn't have any intentions of leaving work early, leaving for work early. So I just went downstairs, got on the computer, was doing my YouTube thing. Plus, y'all, I am so into watching car chases now. Oh, my God. They are the most ridiculously entertaining things ever. Like, people who actually think they can get away from the cops. And the helicopters. They be doing all of the things. You be... And it looks like you're watching a whole video game the way they drive. But um, yeah, so I'm 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 into that. So I put some eggs on the boil for Jay so that he could have some breakfast. 
and turn the coffee maker on so he could it could be warmed up to make his coffee and yeah so he came downstairs and he left out for work he got his stuff and he was good prepped his meal last night I made spaghetti so it all was well in the household except I was still on the internet living my best car chase life <laughs> yeah and then eventually I got up and ready but look it's 7 a.m. now I have to leave work today at least by 4 so we're gonna actually go to Starbucks this morning we had no more milk so there was enough milk to make one cup of coffee that's Jay's so I'm gonna go to Starbucks because I'm really feeling like a matcha Ugh, even though they don't have raspberry Ugh, and I have raspberry at home Corinne got me raspberry but it's okay I was talking to y'all about traveling the other day and I was mentioning about how a lot of countries in Africa are not travel friendly and I know somebody had a, a question about that so I want to talk about that some more and what I mean by that y'all y'all do realize that tourism is an on-purpose idea it's, it's intentional Great tourism doesn't just happen because somebody popped up in your country. It happens because a country decided that one of the things they're going to do to bring in money is set up an industry for tourism. And you will know that a lot of people who are in the, um, what's it called? Is it the server industry, the service industry? Like they actually go to school and get trained for that to work at some of the higher end establishments. Like there is... There's schools for that. Um, it's not something that, you know, you just start working at Motel 6 Day 1 and the next thing you know, you're the top manager at the Hilton. Mm -mm. There's a whole service industry. And France is super huge on that industry. Like to be a waiter in France, like in Paris, I'm like, whose dogs are those? Okay. No, it's like some dogs but like just running living their best lives. Oh, it's like three of them. They're huge dogs living their best lives running down the street in the middle of the street. So there's a lot of countries that really take tourism seriously. Like they don't play about their tourists. And that's why it's always funny to me when people say tourists, tourists, like, like they, they throw the word tourists like around like it's a bad thing or they throw the word tourists around like the locals are sick of you tourists when you really don't realize that this is this country's industry. When you look up wiki travels or when you look up a country on Wikipedia, a lot of times it'll tell you their top three industries and a lot of countries tourism is high on their list of income the way that country produces income, okay? And so I say that to say a lot of countries in Africa, that's not their thing. That's not their jam. So therefore, you can go visit. Like Ghana, for instance, is one of the countries that's newer to getting on board. Y'all know the return. But also think about that. To establish an industry where people want to come visit you, you have to have something. You have to have a thing. What's your thing? What are keep people coming to visit you for? What are they coming to see? So with Ghana, you know, we did that year of the, of the return. I think that's what they called it. Where they really promoted heavily returning to Ghana because this is where a lot of your forefathers were taken from. You know, you had the door of no return. You have a lot of tourist spots so that when a person gets to the country there's actually something to do in that country right you have hotels you need a place to house these tourists you need transportation for these tourists you need places for these tourists to eat safe places because again if you're establishing a tourist industry you don't want the word on the street to be i went there and there wasn't even any water for me to drink because a lot of times you know when you travel you can't drink the local water our bodies are not prepared for the different bacteria the different parasites the different things that may dwell in the water system and we're just not accustomed to so therefore we get ill hence mexico 
don't drink the water in Mexico. Bali gut, y'all heard of that. So there's a lot of places where we're not supposed to drink or eat certain things. But guess what? If you're going to start homing, housing, welcoming tourists, you have to have a system set up for them to be able to comfort to comfortably dwell in. And so in Africa, you know, you hear of Egypt, you hear of South Africa, even Ethiopia. But there's a lot of places, there's a lot of countries. Africa, I believe, has like 48, 52 countries. There's a lot of countries in Africa. The good majority of them not set up for tourism. And there's also a select few of them like Sudan. I believe it's Sudan. Correct me if I'm wrong. Or I'll correct myself if I'm wrong. That, that they don't even accept the American passport, y'all. So that's what I mean by a lot of countries there are not tourists, are not easy to tour. I am not. I would say my adventure level for touring and for traveling it's a medium. It's medium. It's not low. It's medium, but it's not high. I am not trying to get out there and risk my well-being or even being moderately comfortable just to travel. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. And anybody who has ever traveled the continent knows because I've been to Ghana twice and that was just within Ghana. But you know that a lot of countries have checkpoints that are ran by people maybe the police may not be the police where they will stop you they will search you and they will require you to give them money off the books there ain't nothing you can do about it ain't nothing you can do about it so imagine being out there and um you don't even know the lay of the land and like i said they they gives a damn that you you a tourist so and and you know and um if i really had a desire to visit a country that's not on the well-traveled path yes i know how to reach out ask questions figure out but again this is also a system of trust who do you trust who do you know in that country that will host you and not somebody who said there's somebody and know somebody. Like you really got to know because you don't know what situation people can be in. You don't know what conditions they're living under. You don't know what desperation can drive someone to do. So the bottom line is you have to be careful. And for me, I travel tourist friendly places. Places that are set up for tourists to visit, you know, more so than not. I'm, I'm not there yet. And so I say that because I know they ask, well, maybe there's something I can do, people I can reach out to to help me get to certain countries. But I'm not even there yet, y'all, because there's like 192 countries, 194, somewhere around there, somewhere around 195 countries. There's 195 countries that ain't even counting the territories. You know what I'm saying? Like the territories would be places like, um, what's a good territory? Let's say Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is not a country, right? But it's still a place, a land far away from the land where you live that you still may want to visit one day. So there's still so many destinations that I have to cover, that I have to get to, that are easy to get to, that are tourist friendly to get to, that I'm not even raking my brain on how to get to the places that are harder to get to. Like, it is okay. It is okay. It is okay. But I hope that makes sense about what I meant by that, about a lot of places on the continent not being um, set up for tourism. That's what that means. And y'all know, in, in, a, in a simple um, example of that is right here in the United States. Y'all know some places that are um, super rural country and you go there and they're not set up for tourism. They're not set up for visitors like that. So therefore, it may be hard to find a hotel. And the ones that you do find, they're going to be like the motels, the little small inns that are y'all. Look at when we went to South Carolina and we stayed in that motel, Clarion, 
that has shopping carts to clean the rooms, like shopping carts from the grocery store to clean the rooms. Look at that. That's because that is an area that's not set up for our influx of travelers. They're not set up for all these people to be visiting them on the regular. Oh man, we going to Starbucks. Um, so yeah, so you see that right here in the United States of America where there are states and or cities that are fairly small that really don't have a whole lot to see that may have restaurants that don't even stay open past 5 p.m. Y'all, I've been in um I've been in Italy where we've stayed in smaller cities that was like that. Like at 4 p.m. everything was closed. Good luck finding something to eat. Okay, so that's what I mean. So imagine an entire country being that way where they're just not set up for that kind of that kind of transaction. So y'all know, since they don't have the raspberry syrup, we're going to get that um, brown sugar concoction. I really wish I would have known the way I did it that one time that I got it off of somebody off of YouTube. But I don't remember. But I remember brown sugar syrup being a part of it. So we're going to do that because that wasn't too bad. And I want a hot drink, y'all. It's cold. Like, listen, I got on boots again. It's 47 degrees right now. 47. I just knew we were heading into summer, summer, summertime. All right, peoples. It is like 4 p.m. We are on our way to our nail appointment. I want to go to Bed Bath & Beyond. And then tonight, me and Jay need to do our, our um, visa stuff. Hey y'all, it is Wednesday. We are driving home from work. Um, I thought I was going to be home early. It's like 7 p.m. now after 7. Um, but basically what I did is I did a meeting from my car for the trip that we're going to go on for Kenya. So we had a video meeting just to kind of go over things talk about things and so that people could ask questions if they had any questions and again i don't this isn't really typical of a of a um travel group or a travel plan or whatever you want to call it it's not really typical it's just that a friend of mine is organizing it and this is what he's pretty much putting together so that was helpful because we had to fill out for an e-visa which i tried to do last night and had some questions so yeah, so got all that answered. So I should be able to go home and get that done. Um, I'm gonna go home and I'm going to make some pasta. I'm gonna boil some pasta for Jay. I don't think there's enough pasta left for both of us, but he can eat it. And I think I'm gonna make some for me, probably some eggs and pancakes. <laughs> My struggle life. All that just because I don't wanna go to the grocery store. I just don't wanna go. And my car right now my car is basically saying um low tire tire like extremely low pull pull over safely and check it out or whatever i won't do that either i just want to be you know i'm gonna be the little damsel in distress and even though i know baby works hard all day long when he comes home tonight i'm gonna ask him if he can do it for me if he can look at my tires and put air in my tires and i'll go with him but yeah i don't always want to be the strong capable woman who has to do all the things and figure out all the things i just don't want to so sometimes honestly it feels good being able to lean on rely on and count on a man my man so I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I'm gonna do the damsel in distress card because I I just I don't even feel like figuring it out, figuring out how to use the air machine. I mean I could if I had to, we know that. But I don't have to. So I'm not going to. So therefore we're gonna go home. On Netflix, y'all, we are now watching Sweet Tooth. It is so good. It took a little getting used to to get into, but now that I'm getting into it by the, like the third episode, I am like, I absolutely love it. I just love a good creative story. All right, nose itches, time to go. Bye, y'all.
Okay, y'all. Look at that beautiful man. Look at that beautiful man. Mm. He's doing my tires. Yay. It's um 10.30. Can't find my tax papers. So next place to look is the basement. I think that's about it, folks. I don't think we're gonna do. Um, I don't think we're gonna do nothing else tonight after we get home. So it looks like on this machine here, you put in the psi you want, and it looks like currently that tie is at twenty six. Y'all see that? So I guess you program it with what you want. And, th and this one's free. So that's why we came over here. But it looks like you program it with what you want. And then when you start doing it, it'll stop once it hits the PSI that you want. Jay has me driving slow forward slowly. But he... I wish y'all can see him, but y'all can't. But he is like on the ground. Like, like on the ground, like practically underneath the car. Of course, behind the car. Looking. Go a little back up. Back up? Yeah, All right, you know it's kind of hard, babe. Babe. What? Do not do that. It's hard because I got to step on the gas. You know how the Tesla is. I don't really have control. All right. He, he was about to get ran over. Him so go backwards slowly. The Tesla don't work like that. He would have been, and he he is down there with his head on the ground. His whole head would have been ran over. He doing the most, y'all. Yeah. My man. Uh, that, I'm it, man. <laughs> Go a little back. Right, stop. That's it right there. Mmm, it's a nail. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but it's metal. Uh, They're like a freaking. So I gotta take that to the shop. <laughs> I don't want to. Oh my god. It's you gotta take something. it to Tesla, right? No. Yeah, Tesla was like, her bank account got broken into twice. The heck? In one day? Yes. How much did you? Everything. Damn. Yeah, she says, um, it was hit twice. She says, I checked my account earlier to see if my rent money came out, and I seen it was a charge for $2.56 from Target. But I didn't go to Target or use that card. So then I put my car insurance money in the account and I checked it. And the money I just put in there was all gone. And she says, the crazy part is I noticed a Nordstrom charge last week and a Nordstrom credit. So I didn't think anything of it. I told a lady about it because now I can't find the Nordstrom charge. She said they were probably testing it out to see if it was a valid account. This is why I say, guys, check y'all stuff every day. I check my accounts every day. Still in the comments. In your minds. <laughs> I don't have that much. I'll be checking your account. <laughs> but I check it every day because you want to see if you see anomalies. But we are forever looking to see, like, what's this? What's that? What's this? And the reason why I say check it every day. What's this city card that I paid? <laughs> Bank of America card I paid. The, re the reason well, why I say that's right there. the reason why I say check it every day is because the further you get away in a month, you will forget. So a little charge, like she said, two dollars yeah. and something cent, you'll be like, maybe I did make that. And yeah. Then, and then, and then uh, for me, uh, I don't use my debit card, so any charges, little charges or whatever, keep on going straight. Oh yeah. Yeah, same here. I don't use my debit card either. Only time we use our debit cards is to pay the credit card bills. Yeah, yeah so that makes it easier to keep track of. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like if I'm checking well, my bank check account, the, we have to check the credit card too. The credit card, you have to yeah, check I be checking it. I check it every day, just about, or at least every other. I check it. But yeah, but like I, but like yeah, but like I said, I know that when I don't check it that often, like let's say two weeks or a month, it's I be stretching my brain to think about. Wait a minute, what is that? Especially when it's something that doesn't have like a common name. So yeah. stay on top of y'all stuff, y'all, because that's how these scammers do. They they will do little things in hopes you don't notice. I don't know. I don't know why my mom's laughing. No, because when you told me to hold on, I thought you were talking about hold on because you're about to talk to the people with the tire. Yeah, I'm about to order breakfast. And let me tell y'all why we are at Dunkin' Donuts again getting breakfast. <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts. Oh my God, their breakfast tacos are so good, Ma. Now I don't eat like that. Me either, boo. Breakfast tacos. Mm-hmm. They so good, but this is why. Girl, the cleaners are at the house. <laughs> So I was going to get my stuff together to for food, for work and stuff. And I was in the shower, taking my best shower of my whole life. And then I felt like I heard noise. You know what? I'm so mad at my phone didn't even alert me that the front door was open. Wow. I'm like, what the heck? Crazy. Yeah, she did say between 8 and 8.30. So I'm in the shower and I was like, do I hear bumping around? Like, do I hear noise? And then I got out the shower, and sure enough, I felt like I heard a vacuum clean. I opened up my door. Good thing I had my door closed. Yeah. And I was like, the freaking cleaners are here. So I hurried up to get out of their way. Look, you seen that, Um, because I be watching car chases now, girl. Oh, my God, they be so good. <laughs> Did you see that one car chase where... Wait a minute. <laughs> Mom, I be watching car chases. You said you be watching car chases, but you asked me, did I see this one car? This that one car chase, chase. yes. I don't even know that. I had never heard of it before. Well, you're going to be into it now, now that I'm about to turn you on to it. Hold on. Okay. Y'all, my mom got me on hold, so let me talk to y'all. Y'all, oh, we're going through it. So, as y'all know, the cleaners are at the house, and... It just kind of, I guess they got there around 8 this morning. Clearly, I wasn't out the house, right? No, I feel like they got there earlier. Anyways, it don't matter. So, I was telling my mother, because I wanted to go down there for her birthday. I got a freaking nail in the tie. Oh, y'all know, y'all was with me yesterday. So, today, we got to try to figure out where to bring the car, because I feel like I have a warranty on the tires. So, I need to call the place where I got the tires from first and foremost. We also found the tax doc, I mean, the, the paperwork for the house. However, the HUD ones were not in the paperwork. The HUD one is that whole list of transactions. When you buy the paper, that's usually the, when you buy the house, that's usually the paper that you need for when you do your taxes and things like that. So now I got to try to find maybe my 2005 tax documents. Maybe the HUD one is in that from when I was doing my taxes. Oh, it's so annoying. But I got all the things, so I just need to go through the documents again and really make sure that I don't have the HUD ones on the um on the purchase of the property. Hello. Oh, hey, Ma, you back? Yeah, that was your son, Andre. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, boy, you got one son, huh? Yeah. I said that was your son. No, he said he was giving. He said happy birthday, and he said um he wanted to give me something for my birthday. So I said, oh, Andre, you don't have to give me nothing. Just by you calling. Girl, you better set your gifts. So he said, he, gonna, he said, no, I want to get you something. And I, you know, I was like, really? He said, yeah. He said, um, I'm going to stop by today. I'm going to get you um, a card and some money. I was going to try to get some expensive chocolate. I said, oh, no, you don't have to do that because that's really be fattening on me. <laughs> so he goes, well, I'm just going to get a card and uh, um, some money. Look at him telling you what he getting you. I know, and then he said, because he said, what did you get, he said, what did you want, you know, he said he tried to order some from Amazon, but it didn't come right, so they're giving him his money back or something, I said, no, you did, you, you're all right, you know, yeah, so he goes, no, he said he brought his for TV in the entertainment center, I said, oh, your job's doing good with you, he goes, he said, yeah, it's pretty decent, it's pretty decent, he said, I didn't go to work Saturday, but, um, it's pretty decent, though. Oh, okay. It's all right, Andre. 
Yeah, so he said, well, that's what I called to tell you. I was like, wow, I drank. <laughs> Ma, you said that every time. It's so funny. You be keeping hope alive. Look at you. And then hope's coming alive. <laughs> but look, at, I'm looking at, I'm looking at what you were saying, car chase. So I guess they chase somebody with a white car. They're all outside. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Because wait till you see how it ended. I'm not even going to tell you how it ended. It's, Ma, that, that thing. All these car cars. But, Ma, that thing was crazy. But here's the thing, though, because, you know, I was obsessed. So I Googled more about it. So I saw the interviews of the people, the victims. So the guys who, like I said, was fighting him off and chasing him, they was like, they, they had a pit bull. And they said, how's the dog? And he was like, I'm so disappointed in this dog. He did nothing. <laughs> He said the reason why the guy was able to steal the car is because when he got into the house, he noticed the, the car keys hanging on the, you know, the, the ring holder. Okay. He just went over there and took the car keys. Because <laughs> wow. people were saying, like, how he, what, they had the keys in the car? Because you just see him jump in that truck real quick and take off. No, he was, yeah, as he's running through the house, the he saw the car keys and took them. So, again, it goes back to lock your doors. Yeah, and then maybe you shouldn't have your keys just out in an obvious place. See, I feel like those are more practical solutions than get a gun. You know what I mean? But yeah, so Masa, what you doing for your birthday? <laughs> what am I doing? Yeah. Well, tomorrow me and Keisha's gonna go to the casino. I ain't doing nothing today. Oh. Huh? I said, oh. Yeah, it's just another day. When you turn sixty-five, girl. You just be thankful you're here. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I was thankful that God woke me up this morning to say, oh, it's your birthday. No, I know this one person, they had turned 60, and so they decided that every 60 days they was going to take a vacation. And, and the vacations didn't have to be, like, nothing grand. It was like, like you said, like, maybe one day, they're gonna, every 65 days they're going to do something. You know, like, every 65 days, and whether it's, like, go to the casino, take oh, a trip okay. to Ma you know. Yeah. So I said, that sound nice. Oh, I saw that on the Sherry show. That's what it was. They was in the audience and they was like, it's my birthday. So I said, every 60 days, I'm taking a vacation. So this is the first one. We came here to see the Sherry show. Oh, so that's what I should do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me get you. Yeah, we about to go to Starbucks too, okay? Because we getting our, our drink. Don't play with me. We're rich and rich. We're rich. We're getting our um green tea matcha. Bye. I make it sound healthy. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Y'all look at me. How come I ain't out the house yet? Huh? How come I'm not out the house yet? I'm gonna tell you why I'm not out the house yet. Cause this man is home. And because he's home, I wanna be she, home. She does this every throughout the whole week. Okay, y'all. So we are here at the place to get this car in for the tire. So let's go in there and um, I'll see y'all when we get back in the car. All right. Bye. Let me get all my stuff out. All right. Bye. All right. So the car is with them. And I'm so excited because baby said he's going to detail my car when he gets it. Yay. Yeah. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. <laughs> I know because he be saying stuff and sometimes it don't be happening, but... We appreciate whatever it is he can get done on his not going to work day, on his day off. So, it's already 10 a.m., but it's all good. All right, y'all. Y'all, mission aborted, mission aborted. Y'all know all the plans we said we have for this weekend. We're going to go to my mom because it's her birthday. And da -da 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 -da. Cancel it. Cancel it. We're not going. Y'all, why I just talked to the tenant who's moving in and she says she's coming on the 8th. That's Monday. No. So I can't go this weekend because I thought I was going to have to be here to receive her for next weekend. But she's coming on the 8th and therefore we got to get this stuff together. We got to get this house together. All that room, all those rooms still have things in it. The painter is coming on the 8th to finish painting the ceiling in her room that she's going to be occupying. So we're going to have to temporarily have her in another room and her mom is coming. So I told her her mom can use the room too. So we got to get our lives together. So this weekend I'm staying here. I'm about to call my mom and let her know and we'll just go down next weekend, which is going to be Mother's Day weekend plus my grandma's birthday anyway. So we'll celebrate my mother, my grandma, and Mother's Day that weekend. And maybe baby will come with us. I don't know.
Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Because that technically... If you get it... Yeah, if you meet all your goals. Yeah. That would be good. So, that's what we're doing, y'all. So, Jay is going to be in this house getting it together. Then I'm going to come home from work and we're going to continue getting it together. Okay, we gotta, um, pause my show. He got my show playing, Rochelle Chanel. <laughs> in, a, in YouTube. Weekend vlogs, single mom and dad. We don't know what that says. <laughs> yeah, he's looking at the, the show I'm watching. Single moms and dating oh, and dating. so tired. And, and so I tried the gummies. Ooh. Yeah, I know them gummies. Manipulative men and Sunday brunch. Rochelle Chanel. I found her when her house caught on fire and everything was destroyed. Her The apartment she was living in, the apartment building caught on fire. Somebody set the apartment building on fire on purpose. <laughs> wow. Like date rate. Like, and so she lost everything in that fire. And that's when I discovered her channel. And I've been following her ever since. So, all right, y'all. Okay. Bye. We got things to do. We got a mission. Now Jay can't go in the room, in the house and watch TV. Because he knows we got... You heard it. You heard it for yourself. You heard it live. You heard it live that we got a tenant coming in and our house is not ready. If you need some, you need some lotion, you got some lotion here, okay? We're taking Jay's car to work. All right, bye, baby. All right, guys, I'm off for work. I'm at a red light right now, so I just wanted to check in real quick. So we're on our way home. I'm excited to see what did Jay get accomplished. Um, yeah, I think he... Well, I know he did pick up the car. So that's awesome. That's dope. And that really saved me. I was able to work a full eight hour day today. It's like almost 730 right now. So yay. So again, we are on a mad dash to get this house ready for the interns to stop moving in. The light changed. So I'll see y'all when I get home. Today's single day miles. So maybe we'll go out for Mexican tonight. All right. Bye. Yeah, this is what we doing. <laughs> Oh gosh, Jay's so dramatic. What? Oh, I know what he did. He did the floors. Okay, he washed the floors. Because I was like, why? He put that whole chair on that bed. That's what's happening. Okay, I can work with that. That's, that's good. That's good. My baby in here putting in work. Oh, why did I think that those shelves were the same? They're not. Okay. Uh-uh. Nope. Different game plan. Okay. So he says we're going to go to eat after um, he finishes the car. He got he got all the laundry washed. Oh, that baby's so cute. He was productive. He was productive. All right, guys. Listen. We're out here because we're about to go spend up all the money. All the money. Hold on. Um, but let me tell you what I'm excited about. That bank account? Goldman Sachs Marcus account? Drop it down in the comments if you want a referral code. Y'all, why did I go and check my account today? I opened that account up on March 22nd. Baby, how much money did my account make in interest? Almost 500 bucks. What? I'm thinking that first month when I told you I almost made $100, that must have been like a partial month payment. Because the next month was oh, was like about $400. Like, what? I am so excited. I haven't seen bank accounts give that kind of money and interest in a minute. So, I'm just saying. Um, if you do, if you want my referral code, again, you got to hit me up an email. Because what it is, is right now if you open up a Marcus bank account, with Goldman and Sachs, with a high yield savings account, you will get 3.9% interest rate. But if you have my referral code or a referral code, you will have 4.9%. So it gives you an extra percent for three months. You then get your own referral code and you can start referring it out. And every time somebody signs up, they will extend your three months, another three months, another three months, another three months. And they allow you to do that up to five times a year. So. Five times a year. Yeah, you can do five referral codes a year. So that's what it is. And again, 
if I'm out of referral codes, we got my man Jay here with a referral code, and I would definitely sure I will have other referral codes <laughs> for somebody who may want a referral code. Okay? All right, babies. Excited. Now let's go spend up all of our money because we got to do all of the things for this house before the tenants get here. Mm. Man, I gotta wash my car. Nobody cares about that though. <laughs> so we're at Bon Chan. It came to $30.63. All right, so the first thing we need to do is get um, a quart, or a, what is it called? A sample size of the paint we need, but I'm just wondering if they even have that color anymore, or how that works. Yeah, we're looking at shower heads. Jay thinks the shower head looks cheesy, but I like it. Look, you can take this off and wash everything up. We can't figure out how to get that one out. That one's a cool looking one too, but I think we have to get the brand we kind of already have. Jay is not going to give up. Oh, Lord. Breaking these people. Good shower head. Babe, we don't know how to take it off. But show them my shower head, the one I want. The one he wants. Look, he wants that one nice. up there. Right there. Right there. That's nice. Man. It looks modern. But look. Look how much it costs. Hold on, y'all. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Y'all see that price? Yeah, that ain't half to do. We're not buying a $500 shower head. This one is $130. Shouldn't even be buying that, but. Uh. Y'all, this is why we don't take Jay anywhere. Look, look what he got. Look what he got. Why we got a bidet thing up in here? For what? We did not even come in here for this. Y'all, Jay living his best life right now. And now he's looking for, he thinking about everything in the world that needs fixing. A shower door seal for the bottom of the shower. Where does it say it is? All right, y'all, we, we got all the things. Let's go and check. More. And more. Let's go check out. We're going to apply our military discount. And let's see what this all comes up to. And and I was trying to buy a whole set for the porch. <laughs> that was only like, what, less than $200. All right, y'all ready? Oop, y'all see the the price, $334. Good Lord, good Lord. So three nineteen. Y'all, we finally made it to a Bed Bath and Beyond. It is like store closed. Okay, so we're getting these from here, but look, these are the same curtain rods that I had just picked up at um Home Depot. They're six ninety nine at Home Depot. They were like fourteen ninety nine. All right, y'all, I need some vitamins to go to sleep. What do y'all recommend? Seriously, like they have these goalie. Then I'm seeing like melatonin. Equate. Seeing these melatonin sleep. My my sleep sonia, whatever, was so much of the chain that I ended up going to the doctor, right? And they were professional prescription for for handy and for the way they used to get the phone like at the end. Nigga, the over the counter equation was way better than a handy. Oh so what he what he got? Equation. Equation. Okay. Equation. Let's try to find equation. Is the what right? Oh, the, it's the Walmart. What you said? It's the Walmart brand. These people be nasty. I watched um, a Walmart worker. She was in the bathroom, using the bathroom. And then she came out the bathroom, but she had on her plastic gloves. And then she just left out the bathroom with her plastic gloves on. And then I watched her go and just start picking up shopping carts, picking up baskets and everything with those plastic gloves that she was in the bathroom with. Like nasty. Oh, G10 behind you. Nasty. Okay. Cause I yeah, I was I would stay up all night. I would stay up all night um trying to go to sleep. Only thing I can go to sleep is if I'm watching TV. Yeah, I'm running out of steam. I don't even care. This is your but this is your No, I don't care no more. 
I don't care. I don't know which ones. Anyways, I don't care no more. I'm tired. I'm running out of steam. We supposed to go to. You don't want that. You in charge of the toilet paper. We supposed to go to Target. I'm like, I'm done. We still got so much to do at home. I am done. I'm tapped out. I'm a walking zombie, y'all. This on Jay. <laughs> he want food. I'm done. I have no opinion. I don't even care. My back hurt. My belt too tight. My hips are shaking from left to right. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. He knows where everything is at. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Give, Give me. The the, we go out this door. We're parked down here. Give me the receipt. Maybe not the one you want, Jay. I'm not playing with you. If you my baby. If you don't give me that receipt, <laughs> how you put out of all the receipts, he put this receipt in his pocket. I've been putting them in my pocket. No, -uh, I have the receipt. Okay, like she said, she has the receipt, right? Look, the look, 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 if you don't give me that <laughs> receipt, I'm gonna hurt break, him. Break no, I need the receipt. And I got the credit card, so yeah, I win. <laughs> all right, he, he paying all the bills. He wins. <laughs> you won. <laughs> How you gonna see? This is why you can't be having two fetches in one household. <laughs> How? Why are we even divided? We should be all on the same fetch account. Yeah. But no, he want to have his own fetch. But she wants everything in her account and, and, her, and I, her possession. Because I manage. Because I manage the household. Yeah, I do. Thank you. I got the receipt. There was a receipt on the ground. Jay talks so go get it, Captain. Go get it. And I did. Jay, Jay had two days off from work. Not. Uh, back to back, right? Huh? Yeah, okay. but you've been working. He working your butt off. Alright, the, the receipt we found on the ground. Let's see what we got. Let's see what these people bought. Let's see if they got us anything good. Uh, 125 points. Uh, okay. <laughs> The play, tap the play, tap the play. Oh, well, I got 75 extra points. Ooh. Hey, 200 points. Now, let's see with the our receipt. Got it. Only 40 points. What was that? The tissue? No, the, the hummus. Oh, the hummus? Yeah. we going home now. Oh, I'm touching you with my Jeremy hand. I'm sorry. <laughs> Do my, do my thing. Stop picking up receipts wow. from the trash can. <laughs> he is fast. Look, y'all. He got this painted. He says, I'm not going to like the shower head. Let's see if we like it, y'all. I really wish I can turn this bathroom gold. We are locked, This is supposed oh. to come up because it, you know, and this is open. Right. Okay, let me feel it. Hold on. It feels good, but like you said, how do you get that top piece on? Because other than that, it's stupid. 
I like that. 